Okay, so uh, where to start? This is not our usual gig we work on, but this is the absolutely my favorite in the whole world. 1987 Ford Sierra Cosworth. When I was back in Italy, a friend of mine had one that was about 18 years ago or so, and I drove it, fell in love, because this one has a four-cylinder 2.0 turbo which back then in Italy, or all over Europe, um, it's a very big engine, so they're very rare. Going back 20 years, there it is. Um, it has a small power steering leak we're gonna fix, but this is the first and the last Ford uh, in the shop. Brings back good memory. So when I was in Italy, I had a Ford Escort myself. It's similar body, I mean, almost the same. But mine had a 1.3 liter engine and it was as slow as a turtle, so. Just to clarify, um, I used to live in Italy, used to work there for many years, but I'm not Italian, I'm from Albania. This vehicle belongs to Brian Paddy from uh, Epicenter Garage. I agreed to work on it because like I said, that's my favorite car. I would love to own this one. Um, apparently this one came from Italy, imported. It's gorgeous cannot wait to fix it um, basically the power steering has a small leak in it we're gonna talk here in a minute and I cannot wait to drive it basically both power steering hoses from the reservoir they're uh, super hard they're dry rotted um, I found the return line because it's very common but I could not find the supply line so Luckily, it's the same diameter as a BMW power steering line. We're gonna use that. Okay, now we're gonna remove all the hoses. And we're gonna make a mess. Oh, this is hard. I'm gonna have to cut that. This one has seen better days. What do you think, John? Cool shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Look at that. It's hard as a rock. Yeah. Oh, it's like seen better days. Now. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Brian doesn't want this anymore. Yeah, this one is one is gonna work great. Okay, we got that. I guess we're gonna change all these return hoses. This one is kind of soft, but I still don't trust it. So while we're here, change them all. Hey John, do you like this vehicle too, right? What? This Ford? Oh yeah. Of course I do. You wanna take it for a spin? I will. Nice. Now, if Brian wants to, we can transfer this Ford sticker. It's just a sticker, but... Hey, Brian. You might have brought a Ford on a BMW shop, but guess what? It's living with a BMW hose. The same thing. So I guess when, uh, when Brian dropped the vehicle off, he was under the impression that the steering rack was the problem, uh, but I couldn't see anything wrong with it. I mean, we had the vehicle in the air for a couple days and the only thing that was leaking was just the, both power steering lines. One is done. Perfect. I figure I'll change this one too while it's here. It's been replaced at one point, but peace of mind. It's good, it's draining all the bad fluid.
perfect. That's it. Well, being a foreign car, I don't have any power steering fluid in stock for this. So we're just waiting for delivery. Should be here any second. So while we wait for the fluid to arrive, um, there is a small leak in these hoses here. Those are the coolant, turbocharger coolant hoses. And I figure, I mean, they're still hot though, but I figure while wait, I'll just do them real quick. This vehicle is a 2014 M6 with a V8 twin turbo in it. They're fast. Two. It's kind of cozy, but yeah, it's hot. One done, one to go. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pressurize the system, make sure everything is perfect. Gonna fill up the cooling system, rinse whatever spilled out, pressurize it, make sure it's a okay, and then hopefully the power steering fluid will be here by then. I don't know why it took so so long. Okay, so this concludes this job. What we're gonna do, leave it under pressure for at least like 30 minutes just to make sure, but so far looks good. But three hours later, we just got the fluid, they, they forgot. Right on the money. I have just a little bit to clean right here. I didn't get it from the top and then perfect. This is pretty much all the damage I can do for now. Double checked everything, does not have any leaks at this time. So I'm gonna go for a test drive. And fingers crossed. These are our memories. Yep, these are our memories. Woo! For an 80s vehicle, man, this is awesome.
tracking really straight, so. level is perfect everything looks bone dry so it's time to go home now um, I'm gonna put the clean cardboard underneath although the floor is clean too so it's easy to spot but we should be able to tell in the morning if there is a leak as of right now the fluid level is perfect there is no leak so I would say this is it for today we're gonna end the video I mean obviously the car is done it's time to go home Huge thank you to Brian for um, letting me work on my dream car. Uh, if he wants to get rid of it, I'll take it. I mean, but no, uh, we're not going to work on Ford cars. Don't even call. Don't bother. No, this is it. So thank you for watching. <laughs>